Welcome back to Intibles, everyone. So I'm going to go over with you guys in the S&P 500. I'm also going to go over the market with you guys on Monday before the start of the week. And the reason why I'm going to go over that is because there could be a lot that changes between now and then. Again, we had huge news today that gave us this major pullback midday. If you guys did not see this, we did mention this in the Intibles. And we get Nord Stream gas pipelines apparently need some repairs. So we're going to see if they do get repaired sooner rather than later. We're not sure if this is going to be possibly how Russia is going to be using this against Europe. If they're going to possibly increase energy prices. If they're going to be possibly using this as a possible escalation towards Europe. We're not exactly sure what Russia's intentions are. So again, watching this news over the weekend is going to be very key. So I'm going to go to the market with you guys on Monday so you guys can see an update on exactly where the market may be headed from there. But as you guys can see, we sit on a pullback. The question is, are we going to continue on with the bounce like we did yesterday at our zone that we had? Again, we have a 388 to 391 support range that we have been watching here. We did have a bounce from, again, a nice bounce that we had into today. We had non-farm data coming out today. We did have a spike. We had a pullback shortly after, and then we did continue on higher. We were we're probably going to continue on higher from here, but again, we did get that Nord Stream lose. So again, we're going to see exactly where we can head from here. I'm going to go over the daily chart with you guys. Now, before I jump into this, all I ask in return is you smash that like button and hit subscribe if you want to see more chart updates on potential breakouts that I mention every single day throughout the week. So let's jump into this one. So jumping into SPY with you guys here on the five minute chart, and then I'm going to jump over the daily chart real quick with you guys. As you guys can see, again, we did have a slight pullback. We are testing our previous lows that we had from the day prior. So in my opinion, again, if we do continue on below 390, then we are within warning levels. So again, we are going to be very careful going into Monday if we do continue on below 390. But if we are looking for a bounce, what exactly we're we looking for here, I'm going to be looking at the daily chart here to look at these gap points. As you guys can see, again, we do have our FIB lines. We did mention again, our 390 level as a very key support because again, this was our 0.82 FIB. We mentioned if we did continue on below our 0.5 fib, which we did mention that was more likely to happen, we did come down. We did have that better play here at our 0.382 fib. And as you guys can see, we did have this bounce today, a very nice bounce from this level, in my opinion, multiple bounces that we had here. Um, and as you guys can see, we did have a pullback. Now we are closing just below the body that we had from the day before. So again, as you guys can see, closing just below our previous lows that we had. So again, being very careful, making sure we do not get that engulfing candle to the downside. That is exactly what's possibly playing out here or, or this could possibly even be playing out as a possible rejection to the downside if we get a possible hammer counter coming out respect again this 0.82 fib and get that confirmation on a rejection of the downside as you guys can see we have a momentum candle to the downside of course after getting our news but again um, this candle could very much turn into a possible rejection of the downside because again that could be a relief rally that we get going into next week so we're going to see if we do continue on above in my opinion i want to see if we can reclaim 395 possibly test 400 from there um, again we have our 397.50 level here at our 0.5 fib level um, if we did even play that to the downside today, that was a good breakdown um, from that point, even without the news that we did have today. But also, again, when we did mention that news, it was just under this level, I believe. Um, and then we did continue on lower, now testing this 390 level at the very end of the day. Now, looking at our MACD, as you guys can see, we did get that continuation on the increase in sell pressure. We did have that white shaded line midday because, again, we did have a nice bounce back before that Nord Stream news did come out. But again, as we have that Nord Stream news coming out, we now have an increase in sell pressure. So we're going to be careful looking for another white shaded line to come in, in my opinion, for a possible follow through on another white shaded line is what would we be looking for to get confirmation on a decrease in sell pressure to the downside. As you guys can see, we had that previously had a continuation on decreases in sell pressures, even had continuations on decreases in buy pressures previously, showing us that cool off. So again, we got one white shaded line. We mentioned yesterday we were looking for another. We did not get that next white shaded line. So again, just looking for that to happen going into next week is simply what we're looking for here. We do have our AMA lines crossing below the median of MACD. That is a lot of bearish momentum. So we're going to be careful. We will be looking to see if we can get our 12 EMA to curl back up here to see if we can possibly cross back up and possibly get back above the median of MACD for a continuation for a possible bounce back. But that is what we're looking for here on our daily chart so far. We do want that continuation on those decreases in sell pressures to the downside. Currently on the RSI, again, we were pointing up. We probably would have been continuing to point up at this point in time, but again, Nord Stream news did come out. So now we are pointing back down, dropping into lower lows here. Now pointing down, we are possibly looking to see if we can jump into oversold territory from here. So again, we may have room to the downside to run for a possible bounce back. We're going to see exactly what happens. Um, but again, at this point, we cannot ignore that we may again possibly have an engulfing candle coming out here. As you guys can see, our whole body of our candle covering our prior 
body of our candle showing us that we may even have a continuation on lower look for that possible rejection to the downside even could possibly be here at 388 we'll see exactly what happens but um again just letting the play come to us letting again that rejection come to us in my opinion looking to see if we can at least bounce back over our 0.5 fib line um will be that safer play if that does not happen like i said we could be looking for lower lows we're going to be careful here but making sure we do look for that bounce back again i'm going to give you that update on monday on exactly how i'll be playing to the market again very much predicated on what happens over the weekend with Nord Streams if they do possibly have a date that they're going to be following for a possible opening if they're going to possibly continue to use this possibly as a threat to war we're going to see exactly what happens here over the weekend like i said um but again very much keeping this in prayer of course hoping that everything does work out now again with that said if you guys are day traders or you are looking for intraday perspective breakouts we mentioned very volatile breakouts every single day in the instables room go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a breakout alert today again and all of you instables that come over every single day and support the channel i appreciate it when you guys we're going to continue to go at it stay patient take what the market gives us again having a major pullback today because of north stream news we're going to see what happens over the weekend if we have a continuation on lower just looking for more levels in the market is where we're going to continue to stay focused on and staying patient hope you guys do have a blessed three-day weekend and again if you guys do like this video it does help the channel grow and i do appreciate it very much and again god bless you all and i'll see you guys in the next video